So years ago, um, back uh, on the John Hutch Relic Channel, it was 2009, maybe, um, possibly even 2007. Um, when I had uh, showed the um, the uh, the gathering of people, the, the protest, or I don't know if you'd call it a protest, but the rally outside of St. Philip's Church, uh, Antiochian, the uh, Syriac Orthodox Church, um, you know, chanting and shouting for uh, Bashar al-Assad uh, because he was, he's his Mali, and he was the protector of the minorities of the, the Maronites, the Malkites, the Syriac, uh, the Oriental Syriac, the Eastern Orthodox Syriac, known as the Antiochians, um, the Latin Christians that were there, the um, some of the Greek um, Christians that were there, as well as the Druze and the um, the Shia, whether they were Twelver or, or Somali, and um, even the moderate uh, Sunni. Right, um, and the, uh, the you had the downfall of um, Gaddafi, I believe, in what was it, uh, 2011, maybe? It might be up on that. Um, and then you had uh, the training of the Free Syrian Army, which quickly broke into three groups. You had uh, Al Nusra, which is Al Qaeda. You had uh, Islamic Front, and you had ISIS. And everybody knew this is what this was. This was CIA-trained, um, Israeli-funded, and uh, and uh, backed with um, Saudi Arabia as well. Um, and they also funded uh, fighters to go into Yemen to fight the Yahuthi, um, to exterminate them. And I, I said at the time, you must speak about speak up against genocide. Um, no matter what, you can't shut up. And I said this also when um, the the KLA and the the um, the uh, the Islamists were trying to slaughter the Serbians in um, Kosovo um, and even into to Serbia. I said, you can't shut up about it. You have to, you have to at least shout about it and let the world know. And even with the um, when when uh, the United States could defend, could at least drop some bombs to get ISIS away from that mountain where the, the group of Yazidis and Christians were trying to escape. Um, although I believe they were hemmed in, and all the men, women, and children were slaughtered because they were not. Uh, you know, um, Muslim, even though the Yazidis and the Christians, um, in that area, it preceded Islam by a thousand, by almost a thousand years. Um, it's it just sickening. Um, and Syria, finally Trump pulled out from Syria. So I have to um, speak about this. Julius Malema, even though he's part of the AFF, I believe, um, is no disagreement with the ANC where they say they are going to take all the property of the whites of the Boers, uh, of, um, and they chant, kill the Boer, kill the Boer, right? Um, and then they cheekily changed to say, kiss the Boer. You know, I mean, this, we see, we saw this coming up to the genocide in Rwanda with the code words of cut down the tall trees and, and, uh, clear the brush and destroy the cockroaches and things like that, you know? Well, they're saying cut down the tall trees and clear the brush. What's wrong with that? No, that was code word for massacre as many Tutsis as possible. 
right? Now, uh, Julius Malema is clear that there is a genocide coming, and he wants he will not that they're not going to allow the Boers to leave South Africa. Um, and I can go into you know who was in South Africa first because it was not the Congoid; it was the Capeoid, and especially in the part of South Africa that has most of the Boers in it. Uh, there was no landed people there. Um, nomadic people at best, but uh, the uh, <coughs> the Khoisan were if they were there, they were sparse. Um, and the what would be the Zulu nation was on the complete other side. It wasn't on the Atlantic coast; it was on the Pacific coast. Um, and we can get into what happened with uh, the man who killed. Shaka Zulu, his uh, half brother Dinka, and um, sold the uh, the land to the Vor truckers, and the um, you know <clears throat> that was next to the Transvaal and the Orange Free State, and then attacked and tried to wipe them out, and they were victorious. The the Battle of Blood River. Um, but yeah, there's genocide currently going on in South Africa against the whites, right? Not just the descendants of the Boers, not just the Afrikaans, but any white people in South Africa. Um, there is, uh, there is genocide against, and I believe it's happening to the Asians as well, which are those who are from, um, uh, India and Malaysia uh, that were brought in, but mainly to the whites. And it's not getting reported on any major news networks. And they're ramping up for a genocide, and they're not even hiding it. Because you have this thing in the United States, well, how can, you know, good, if there's genocide against the whites, then good, which is sickening. Um, Martin Luther King said, judge man by the content of his character, not the color of his skin. Um, people like Frederick Douglass and, um, Harry Tubman and, uh, Martin Luther King be rolling in their graves with this kind of nonsense. And as extreme as Nelson Mandela was, with his bombing campaigns and everything, he wasn't this extreme. Uh, and the ANC is going along with this, uh, of taking the property of all. And we saw what happened in Zimbabwe. Um, they didn't use, they just used farming and subsistence farming, which led to starvation and uh, it, killing all the zoo animals and eating them. And they will soon, t I mean, there will be no more elephants or wildebeest left in South Africa because they will have to eat them all. Because these people don't understand, well, why do you have to have a farm that's so big? Well, because you store the grain, you sell it, but even if trouble comes, like, you know, a drought or something, you don't have to sell it, you can eat it, and you can live off of it for, you know, years to come so you don't have to starve and you can actually feed your, your immediate people, your nation. Um, but their rights are not being protected, though that's their land. Um, and uh, we can get into who is the newcomer because the, they can tell you the, the Boer and the, the Griqua and the Khoisan and, and the Zulu were there long before the British imported a lot of Congoid people from um, Central and West Africa to uh, work uh, to do their 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 labor. Um, I mean, it's disgusting. The genocide is already happening. They're already targeting whites and killing them. 
um, but they're planning a full scale um, to wipe them all out. And people talking about them leaving, I don't believe the uh, the Boer should leave. They make up 8% of the population. That's their land. They've been there um, for, uh, <coughs> for, for what, 500 years, 400 years? Um, that's their land. They are indigenous to them. They are even considered a tribe in South Africa. The, their colors are on the South African flag. Um, you know, the colors of them, the colors of the, the, the Greek, the Khoisan, and the Zulu were all blended together to make, this is why it's the Rainbow Nation. And even the colors from the uh, Asians as well. So it's sickening that uh, you might hear a little bit about it on Fox News or OAN, which I, I believe people should stop watching Fox News and just completely watch OAN um, if you're going to watch any news at all. But um, the genocide is already happening as many... Um, uh, as many uh, Afrikaans point, pointed out, or Afrikaners point, uh, pointed out, and um, because it's happening to white people, tenth blacks, and they're the whites are being called colonizers, which they they weren't, or let's even just consider that they were. The 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 Congo people certainly were colonizers as well. Um, because they, remember it was the Khoisan that was mainly down there and a, the, uh, the Zulu had got into that area at the same time that uh, Vasco da Gama had set up what would become Cape Town so I mean it, it's ridiculous and also the idea that the, the, the sons of the the sins of the father fall upon the sun is, is ridiculous. Um, you know, <clears throat> Rhodesia, while slowly changing to a uh, multi-ethnic uh, democratic republic, uh, was prosperous. But they were forced to change overnight. And then uh, 20 years later, you had genocide of the whites that happened in Zimbabwe, and you heard nothing about that. Um, with even the African, the Pan-African court ruling in cases of the farmers saying that, yeah, that was their land after their land was taken. Um, their ancestral land was taken, and they said, okay, well, you can buy this this garbage land that nobody ever used, and it's rocky and everything, and it's you know covered in trees that are hard to cut down. And they paid full price for it, and they removed the stones from the land to build, you know, their fences. And they cut down the trees, and they plowed and under, they plowed into the land, and they got loans from um, banks to uh, from the international banks to to uh, buy new machinery because they had to leave all their machinery behind. They had to leave their homes there. They lived in tents for a while. They had to build their own houses. And after all this, that and they got you know the approval of the government that this is their land. Then Mugabe said, "They stole your land. That was your land." But it was fully paid for. It was bought, and the money went to the Zimbabwe government. Um, and the perfectly good farm that they had to leave was given over to. Um, you know, the black people who took it away, who were, you know, working for the government. And this happened a, a third time. And then there was the attacks and the beatings and the murder, the murder of children and the, the raping and, and setting on fire of people. And there's a few the, um, white Zimbabwe's that stood their ground and actually went to court. Um, after being shot and beaten into comas and everything like that, and having their wives raped and being mocked for this, and they actually won in the South African court. But, you know, did Mugabe care? No. 
Um, it's too bad that George and, uh, and Cuomo didn't, uh, didn't, uh, become the president and, uh, too bad he died in 99. He may have been a better ruler, but, um, yeah, uh, the ANC is going down the route of, uh, Zimbabwe. Uh, and why does there have to be a South Africa anyway? Why not have a Zululand, a, um, Griqua land, a Transvaal, an orange free state, uh, Boer land, and then also a land for these newcomers that are Congoid, um, Bantu, and also a land for the Kozos as well. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. But yeah, the genocide is happening right now, but there will be a much massive genocide in the near future and they're open about this julius malema is open about this the anc is completely open about this and they're seizing property based solely on race not whether your ancestors were ever colonizers you could have uh, gotten to south africa five years ago and bought land um and, and it's property so they're they're even seizing not just land but even like trucks and you know anything it's sickening and, and you should be yelling about this and shouting about it right um this is a horror horrifying injustice that everybody just shuts up about they shut up about the rwandan genocide they shut up about the genocide of the yazidis and assyrian christians they shut up about what was going on in um Syria and tried to make uh, the Free Syrian Army the good guys and the yellow ha or the white helmets the good guys even though they were ISIS um, and uh, drowning Christians in cages and burning them in cages uh, yeah so you know I thought the motto of the you know of Holoc the Holocaust was never again but it keeps happening. All right, peace to you. May God save Serbia, Syria, and Ireland, and may God save um, South Africa and the Afrikaners. And the Greek law are almost in the same position as the Afrikaner. Peace to you.